Let's enter 1099 miscellaneous tax form into FreeTax USA and TurboTax. You may receive some royalties in box 2 or other income in box 3. Even if it is minimal like we have it here, you have to enter it into the software. Tax form 1099 miscellaneous and 1099 NEC often appear under business income section in the tax software. In TurboTax though, it is listed under other common income. You can also always search for a form and jump to it directly. If you start the TurboTax with a free version by adding the 1099 miscellaneous or 1099 NEC to your tax return, you will be upgraded to either the deluxe or premium version. Enter the information in each box of your 1099 miscellaneous into corresponding boxes in the software. Let's say I have royalty income in box 2. Once I enter it, the software will ask me what kind of income it is. You may also have other income in box 3, which can come from variety of sources. Disclaimer, this is not tax advice, but generally, if the royalty income is from an investment, or if you are not actively engaged in the business that generated the royalty, then the royalty is reported on Schedule E. If the source of the royalty is derived in ordinary course of the operation of a business, such as receiving royalty from a book sales as an author, then the royalty income is reported on Schedule C. Similarly, if you have other income in Box 3, that relates to ordinary business operations that would require adding a Schedule C and probably including some business expenses. However, there may be cases such as receiving other income that doesn't relate to business activity but rather maybe an investment, an interest, award or bonus for opening an account. In these cases, you would not generate Schedule C but rather put it under other income on Schedule 1. We will generate Schedule E as this is royalty related to an investment. The royalty will be listed on line 8 of 1040 for 2023 and Schedule E will be generated in our case. Thanks so much for watching.